Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 26th of February to the 2nd of March 2018. As always, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs and markets looking at the key areas of support and resistance in the process. I'm also going to be highlighting some of the targets that we're going to be looking for in the coming week and also weeks ahead. Just before we begin, I would just like to start by saying thank you to all of you who support this channel and who take the time to like and share and comment these videos on a regular basis. And I'm also very glad to hear that these forecasts are helping a lot of you structure and formulate a plan, a systematic approach to the markets each week. Now, for those of you who are still struggling with your trading, we do run live training rooms three times a day at the Portex Academy. And I'm pleased to announce we've just had a big upgrade on the Academy. It is now available on desktop, tablet and mobile. And in those rooms, we run through not just the 10 markets that we're looking at here in the forecast, but over 30 different pairs we give the levels for and the markets that we're looking at for that week. And if you are struggling with your trading, why not try us out on a seven day free trial? You can click on the link below and get your free trial by following the link in the description below. And if you do that, I'm sure you'll see why we get such good feedback from our clients, because we're in there not to try and upsell you software and all this kind of stuff. We're in there to teach you the real way to trade these without indicators and how to make money. That's our main focus in the rooms is to show you guys how to make money in these markets. So the next session is at 8 a.m. on Monday when we come in for the London Open. So again, if you're struggling with your trading and you are really serious about becoming professional, making money, why not head over and join us in a free trial? See how you get on and see how you can also make some money on a consistent basis like our clients in the rooms. So with that said, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we were had bounced from the key area of support down here at the 88.46 and we were looking for a pullback and a retest of key area of support over here. Acting as resistance over here. We did get that pullback. You can see we had this move up towards the resistance area. But in fact, we broke through here. Uh, and as you can see, late last week, we started to pull back. So very simply put, we go into this week looking for a further pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support in the US dollar index. And if we get a pullback here, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking for a bounce to the upside. And we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 90.56. And also, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up to the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 91.02. So as long as price stays above the 89.54, we're going to have a fairly bullish bias on the US dollar index. Next, we have oil. Now, ever since we bounced down below the lows here at the 58.50 area, we were looking for a pullback and a retest, and we did have a nice move back up to test this area over here. And last week, we started the week sitting kind of just underneath here. Now, we were looking for a bounce to the downside as we were down below the key area of broken support over here, turning resistance, and we're looking for it to act resistance again. But as you can see, we actually had a break through this key area of resistance, and we haven't actually yet had a pullback. So very simply put, going into next week, what we're looking for is a continuation to the upside as we start the week above the 61.93. And we're looking for a correction to take place, possibly a retest of broken resistance over here turning support. If we get that, that's going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. We're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the target and the first key area of resistance, which we're very close to at the moment at 63.87. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for a pullback and a retest. And this will provide another opportunity to look for long positions up towards the target to the next key area of resistance, the upside the 66.54. Now, if we go into next week and we don't get a pullback and instead we break through the next key area of resistance like this, we will just simply be going on to look for stage two, which is this over here, which is just simply a pullback. And we'll be looking again in this area for broken resistance to turn support. And if we get the kind of bullish formations and patterns we're looking for in this area, this would be a great place to again, look for the target two up there at the 66.54. Next, we have Euro dollar. Now last week, we started the week uh, up at the key area of resistance of the 1.25026. And we are looking for a pullback 
from this key area of resistance down towards this key area of support at the 1.23062. And you can see we did actually have a nice pullback back down towards this area. Now, going into next week, we are actually starting the week below this key area of support. OK, and so what we would really like to see, especially if we're going to get further advanced in the US dollar index, is a further decline to take place in the euro dollar. And then we'll be looking for a pullback and a test of this area as broken support becoming resistant. And if we get that kind of price action, we're going to be this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts. First of all, down towards the next key area of support to the downside in target one at the 1 1.22100. And of course, if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking to take more shorts or to at least hold on to the first trade down towards the next key area of support and target two at the 1.20890. Next, we have the pound dollar. Now, last week, and in fact, it's quite uh, important to point this out. Um, if you had a tricky week last week, if you had a tough week when you're trading last week, in fact, in the live rooms, we had a very, very good week. But if you had a tough week last week, don't be disheartened because uh, the a lot of these markets didn't really move very much. I mean, if you take the British pound US dollar, for example, we started last week here and we finished the week here. So from here, so here represents a week's worth of moves. You can see we barely move. Now, when the markets barely move, it's very, very difficult to make money. So when you understand this and you see this kind of lack of volatility in some pairs, say, for example, if you trade the pound dollar all the time, don't be too disheartened because uh, we didn't really have much of a movement in the market. However, going into this week, you can see despite a real lack of movement, we did have some pretty revealing price structure. We broke down below the key area of support at the 1.4007 and we have come back to test this as resistance once twice and it looks like we're now coming back for a third time now if we're expecting further advances in the US dollar index next week this provides a great chance to start to look for bearish formations and patterns in the British pound US dollar and we're going to be looking at initiating shorts pretty much from where we are now maybe one more retest we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at the 1.3760 and if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area support to the downside in target two at the 1.3624. Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we started down here near the 105.489 and we said we were looking for a pullback up into this area. And you can see we got this move to the upside. Uh, and traded into the key area resistance of the 107.391. And we said we were looking for a pullback into this area and then for a bounce from this area. And you can see we did actually start to bounce from this. We tested it fairly deeply, but we did ultimately bounce to the downside. And we start this week, we go into this week below the key area of resistance over here at the 107.391. Now, very simply put, although we're looking for a possible advance in the US dollar index next week, we are going to be looking at this setup to the downside. And if that advance fails to materialize, we're likely to see this setup play out next week. So very simply put, what we're looking at is, and we were, of course, looking already from up here, we're looking for a pullback and a possible retest of the key area resistance of the 107.391, but a pullback somewhere into this area at the very least, uh, if not a pullback all the way to retest the resistance. And this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the first target in the key area of support at the 105.489. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards target two in the next key area of support to the downside at the 104.236. Now, if we do start to see some strength in the US dollar and the yen is also strong next week, then what we could see is we could go into a bit of a range like this as both currencies are fairly strong. So just something to bear in mind, but ultimately we're looking to the downside at these two targets, as long as we remain below the 107.391 key area resistance. Next, we have the Aussie dollar. Now, last week we started the week by testing. We broke above this key area resistance and we tested it once and twice. And we actually started last week here, just below the key area of resistance. And so as we started the week down below this area, we did say we were going to go into last week looking for a pullback and a retest of this as resistance here. OK, below support, testing is resistance. And we were looking for a decline to the downside. So we did. In fact, this was some one that we traded last week. We actually traded this move to the downside in the room. And we are now looking for further declines to the downside to the 
first key area of support down here at the 0 0.77330. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking for the next key area of support to the downside and target two, at 0 0.76341. Now, if we get a pullback, and for anybody who wasn't involved in this last week, we may be getting a pullback somewhere in this area, possibly even another retest of this resistance area. But any pullback in this area over here uh, is going to present a chance to look for bearish formations and patterns to initiate further declines to the downside, looking for these two targets to the downside here. And if we get that advance in the US dollar index, as we're looking uh, that it could be very likely we're going to get, then we should see further declines again into the Aussie dollar next week. Next, we have New Zealand dollar. Now, we started last week at this key area of resistance, and we said we were looking for a pullback down towards this area here and possibly even a retest of broken resistance over here turning support and you can see it was another pair that performed really nicely uh, according to the structures and the levels that we've outlined here from last week so we did get that pullback all the way back down to the key area of support at 0 0.7286 and we start the week sitting at this support area now going into next week we are looking at potential advance in the us dollar index which means that this support area could be broken however as we say to our traders in the room all the time, we're not here to predict the future. Nobody knows the future. OK, but what we can do is we can read the charts in front of us. So going into next week, this is going to provide a great place to start to see if we get those kind of bullish formations and patterns in this area. And if we do, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards target one and the next key air resistance to the upside at 0 0.74314. And ultimately, of course, if we can get a break through here, we'll be looking up towards target two, the 0 0.74825. Now, if we do start to get a decline and this fails as support, don't forget, we are using these levels both ways as well. And so we'll be looking for further declines. But we'd have to see this failing as support first. Uh, as it stands, this is giving us a nice bullish opportunity in the New Zealand dollar. And of course, if that appreciation in the value of the US dollar index fails to materialize next week and actually we get a weakening in the dollar, then this is one that should push to the upside looking for the top of the range because we're starting to range here, aren't we, going into next week. Next, we have the US dollar franc. Now, we started the week last week below the key area of broken support looking to turn resistance over here. But in fact, we didn't actually get any bounce from here. Did we? we started to push to the upside? Uh, and it's very simple, this setup going into next week, especially if we're looking at further advance in the US dollar index. And if that appreciation in the US dollar index does materialize, we're looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support. And this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking longs up towards the target and the next key air of resistance to the upside at the 0 0.94380. Next, we have the US dollar CAD. Now, last week, we started the week bouncing from the 1.24608. And we said we were looking for a move up into the first target that we had set from last week at the 1.26325. And we actually had a break through this area. And we came very close, in fact, to target two from last week, which is now the first target uh, at the 1.27726. And you can see we actually had a pullback and we currently have a retest of broken resistance turning support in the US dollar CAD. So pretty much from where we sit now, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns and we stay above the 1.26325, this is going to provide a great chance to start to look for bullish formations and patterns, as I said, up towards the first target, next key air resistance at the 1.27726. And if we can get a break through here, just as we did over here, we're going to be looking for the second target and the next key air resistance to the upside at the 1.28664. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week, we broke down below the key area of support at the 1346.57. And you can see we came straight down to the next key area of support as highlighted from the weekly forecast last week. We actually started the week above this area, but you can see we came straight down to the next key area of support between these two levels very, very quickly. And we actually held at this key area of support at the 1325.89. Now, we start the week above this key area of support. So very, very simply put, we're looking for a pullback and possibly even a pullback all the way to retest previous broken support over here acting as resistance and if we get this kind of price action this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns and we're going to look at taking shorts back down towards the key area support where we sit now and target one at the 1325.89 but ultimately if we can get a break through here we're going to be looking for 
the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1307.77. Now, if we get a really nice push to the upside in the US dollar index and with the US dollar strengthens next week, we may just see gold breaking down below the key area of support here. And if that happens before we get a pullback up into this area, we're very simply just going to be looking for broken supports term resistance and we'll be looking instead in this area to look for bearish formations and patterns down towards the target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 1307.77. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. It really, really helps us. And it shows us that you guys are enjoying this and you're learning from it. Again, if you're struggling with your trading and you'd really like to learn how to trade the markets like a professional and how to make money, why not check us out on a seven day free trial in the link below? As I said, I'm sure you'll really, really enjoy it. And uh, it'll be great to see more of you starting to make consistent profits in the rooms like our clients do. So with that said, guys, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I hope you have uh, an enjoyable day tomorrow and I hope you'll have a very profitable week next week as well. Just bear in mind that next week on the weekend, there is the Italian elections on the 4th of March and there is likely to be some volatility or some gaps over the weekend next week. Now, of course, that will come before next week's weekly Forex forecast. So I just wanted to point all of that out to you uh, in advance. So if you're holding euro positions mainly, over the weekend but of course dollar pairs will be affected uh, and possibly even the yen and the franc as safe haven currencies uh, just bear in mind that you may see some gapping over the weekend next weekend because of those elections so with that guys take care i hope you'll have a very profitable week next week and the only thing left to say is don't forget to trade safely